Hi Collective, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, a Cosmic Divine Psychic Medium here delivering messages to you for the Higher Realms. Okay, from the Higher Realms. I said for the Higher Realms, right? Wow. Well, this is going to be a very beautiful transmission, right? As I just got a very, very powerful download. Okay. This is going to be for my light workers, my earth angels, star seeds, okay? Light warriors, whatever you may define yourself as. And the Twin Flame Collective, right? This, this message is going to be going out too. But for a lot of you, if you didn't realize, a lot of the Twin Flame focus, the collective of the Twin Flame, I, I've always said, is the earth angels, the star seeds, light workers, 144,000, because these divine unions are are very, very important and and because and, um, it's about coming together with one, right? Or so I thought, right? Because I, and I've always said, too, that the journey is always about finding that love from within, knowing that you are one with God, divine source, that loving yourself enough is going to magnify and attract counterpart energy because, you know, we're meant to be together with others, right? But it's about finding that love from within and being complete with yourself. But I know that you've heard that before, Many say that that happens right before true divine union and all of that. But what if I was to tell you that it's just all part of the plan to distract you from coming together? Because if you think about it, when you go looking for your twin flame or when you even hold that space, even within your mind, to be open to knowing that you're going to be with a twin. You you have that sense that that's going to be someone that's going to complete you. As much as you say, I'm going to love myself, I'm going to complete, complete myself, and I get that. Because for a lot of us, it's like that mindset of like, you know, you get blessed with love when you when you love yourself, right? So part of you is di 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 um, distracting yourself, right? But I'm going to tell you what, like with my experience, with my with my twin flame, right? And the stories is I've said that my twin flame was compromised and all of that because it's like we would connect on levels, but I've advanced farther in my spirituality. Is seeing a mirror in front of me has caused me to make major changes to me and to see those things. And that's why I finally got the realization like, wow, yes, you're like no other. You were literally made to show me like a mirror of what work I needed to do. And I've often said, too, that the twin flame relationships are very, very intense because it's like your mirror. Everything that you are doing, they do. It's like if you're in that energy, like, I'm mad. I'm not going to talk to you right now. They're going to be in the exact same energy. And until one of you decides, all right, let's talk, is the other going to? So um, there's been times where I've went weeks and months without talking to my twin, right? Things like that because of my stubborn energy, right? But then you have to be careful, too, because love can be manipulated. And you need to know that dark forces can very much get in and take control. And then you hear about the mirroring energy and scrying. Like, they know how to get in and how to appear that the way to be your twins. Then you have to worry about false twins and all of that, right? But I was led to this. What if the twin flame journey is the Trojan horse to the covert narcissist? What if it really is just a big block? Now you need to know too, as I say, the twin flames are very high, powerful, being chosen ones, earth angels, right? So when you re when I get you to realize that when we're in this light versus dark, and this is a spiritual battle, and it's really... The light versus the dark, it's the angels versus the fallen angels. The earth angels against the fallen that are being basically are demons at this point. So they are very, very high ranking. That's why it takes an immense amount of courage and strength for you to be able to say, you know what, I love myself more than my twin and I'm willing to walk away from my twin flame. I'm willing to walk away from someone identical to me, just like me, made for me, right? Because this journey is to, in fact, teach you that you are one with God, divine source, and nothing is going to get in the way of that. So when you stop giving your power away to your twin flame, 
that in fact empowers you to pour that love and energy into yourself, getting you online. And that's pretty much, guys, what I've been doing with all these downloads, right? I, I started this. Fallen Angels. I've been working on the Fallen Angels and getting all these downloads and then I got into the Twin Flame Soul Trap. Fallen Angels are about divine order. They're not about divine order. They want to create a chaotic order. They want destruction. So that's why you've heard so much that, oh, your twin is in competition with you, right? That's why they're sabotaging you, where in fact you might be thinking, no, it's not sabotage, it's just they, they have my same ideas and ideals, they want to be just like me. No, they're in fact creating blocks. They want to hold you back, because if you think about it, if what if all of your, every single twin flame is really just the Trojan horse, just the distraction right before this major <laughs> leveling up for you? It's really thwarting your power if you think about it. It's really always making you feel as though something else needs to complete you. You're not realizing that you are to obtain the highest version of yourself without them. So they ultimately are pushing you forward. They are leveling you up by you. Like I'm getting that leapfrogging over them and them, you know them lifting you up they don't want to ascend and you know part of me was like what if they were meant to they were literally just a catalyst that's why i've heard a lot of people that say that you have to surrender the twin flame you they were on the right track you and for a lot of you it's like you you start to see that they're blocking you you start to see that wow they they don't want to see me succeed so i'm going to succeed they're not ready they're out of alignment no they were always meant to be that trigger for you that catalyst for you that's why there's allowed to and if you think about it it's like the light and the dark like yes it works but it's it's the perfect thing to trigger you. But if you get stuck and trapped in the twin flame soul trap of needing to be with your twin, then you're not ready. It's ultimately when you sacrifice it, when you let it go, is when you're ready. That is fully when you gain all of your power. What? Is that not beautiful? So it's always been about the light versus dark. And you need to know that is why it is more powerful than ever because you are going up against high-ranking demons, high-ranking covert narcissists that you feel is a piece of you, but you're like, no, that can't be me. That's why you don't see it. That's why it's the Trojan horse. It's a, it is disguised. Remember... I said these are high-ranking demons. They are fallen angels. That's why you have this connection. That's why because you. That's why some of the time they're angelic or they appear that way. Other ways they. Other times they don't. Because they truly don't believe in the love and unity of all. They've already went against God, divine source, because they wanted to be their own god. They didn't want to abide by rules. They didn't want they didn't want this unity we come together. They're appearing that way, but they're blocking you. They're stopping they're ultimately stopping you from doing that. Some of them may even know they're your twin or believe that. But they want to hold you back. They want to thwart you. They want to take your energy. They want to take you off of course. And they might not even be aware that they're doing that. Because a lot of time, I mean, some of them are fully aware, but some of them are so much in their ego, so much, you know, and that's all a mindset. But that could be why some of them just will not ascend. They don't want to. It's a choice. At this point, with everything that is going on, if you're not ascending, if you're not feeling the energies that are coming through, you're fighting them to stop this from happening. Some of them want dominion over and want power and control. 
They want to be controlled by the dark forces. If any of these um, lovers, these twins, are trying to get you to go against the laws of God, divine source, if they're trying to get you to engage in sin, lower vibrational energies, if they're using seduction, they're not respecting your boundaries, that was a test that I deployed, right? If you respect my boundaries at this time of me wanting to have my own energy, be in my own energy, work on my creative, let me be creating in, in my creative energy and respect my boundaries and not try to be forceful trying to get my sexual energy. Hmm, what do they do? A lot of them could be very chaotic at this time as they know that the end is near. Judgment is upon us. They know they're running out of time. They were divine messengers who faithfully served God in heaven. They became unsatisfied with being a servant of God and wanted to become God himself, is what I wrote. They became filled with envy and rage. A rebellion against God and successfully encouraged a third of the angel's population into rebellion to cast out of heaven to earth. Here you must prove your loyalty. That's also why they were allowed to have control over earth here. Because they were cast out of heaven. And here is now, think about it, if all of these, these angels that became the fallen were in heaven with God and they went against God, you know, that was never going to happen again. No. That's why down here on earth, it, it's, you have to prove your loyalty. You have to stand up to the sinful energies, these demonic forces, these demons. You have to prove your loyalty at this time. As we've always really been proving our loyalty. Satan and the demons taking over control of the earth to show loyalty. That's why it shows who's worthy. There's been so many that have been compromised, so many that are on the fence, as I say, that are Nephilims. Because I got before the Noahic flood, a group of fallen angels, the sons of gods, had sex with daughters of men and created a, day, a whole um, demonic species, right? And that's what led to all the lying, the murders, rapes, wars, sexual mortality, alcoholism, the war between God's angels and the fallen angels. And then I got into the twin flame soul trap. It's to make you lose yourself. It's to get you to put down your boundaries. Some of you may have realized that you had such strong boundaries in place, but now that a twin is there, it's making you put your boundaries down. Searching for love is wrong. It's about finding it from within. No one in this world will complete you. You complete you. The twin flame is the Trojan horse to the covert narcissist. Hearing that just... It, it set me free is what it did. Now I could be saying that to you and it might not make sense. And if it doesn't, then you're not ready to see this yet. Because... Until you feel something resonate with you, until you know that something like makes sense, you're not to that level of understanding yet. And I know that if I would have heard this a year ago, I probably still would have been questioning it. No, nope, that's just a reader that doesn't know what she's talking about. There, she ain't really a divine messenger or whatever, right? But see, I've been doing my own little tests and I've been on the fence and part of me has been well my twins being controlled how, why why is it like half and half right twin flames distract you they stop looking they prepare you for you love can be manipulated See, I've been put, not everyone will understand. You have to learn, especially my light workers. You have to understand that you are dealing with high ranking demons. They know how to use, they are just trying to block and stop you. 
And just because you choose yourself, that does not mean that you are not going to have a lover and amazing love connections because you are going to come together because we are coming together, but you are going to come together with another angel just like you, not a fallen angel, right? And that's really what this is about, the spiritual battle, right? We are leading the way. We are showing. We are setting the platforms. We're allowing others. Remember who you are. Don't fall. The enemy is very clever and will use your heart against you. Be careful of the traps. All right. That was the message, the download that I had for all of you. I hope that it helped you. Love and light to all of you. Check out more of my readings. Bye.